Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is project world to screen? Let me go ahead and cover this node, or in this case, two nodes that do the same thing. We have project world to screen and convert world location to screen location. They do the same thing, have the same inputs, have the same outputs. They're interchangeable. What this node does is basically we give it somewhere in the world and we ask it where relative to the screen is that somewhere. That's it. So let me hit play and here's my example. This cube here, this flat sphere, sphere, flat cube, my pivot point is right here, this bottom edge. Where relative to my screen is that bottom edge? So for example, if I maximize this and I try to get it roughly in the middle and we hit do something, my screen is 1920 across. We have this at 980, so I've got it roughly in the middle. And it's roughly 1080 up minus the title bar, so we have about 500. So I'm off by a little bit, it's not quite the middle. Now in terms of how the node works, it takes in a player controller. Keep in mind this position we're going to be checking against is going to be the camera itself, not the player if you're in third person or anything else. The camera is basically where we're going to project back to in terms of the screen. And the world position is literally a position in the world that we want to check against. Now we have a, do, have a Boolean option. For the most part, you can ignore this. It's relative to the player's viewport if you're using a sub-region sub and that widget is added to the actual viewport of the player or the player's screen rather than the entire viewport. So this is useful in local multiplayer using user, interfor user interface widgets. For our example, we can ignore it. Our output is going to be the screen position. Where on the screen is this located? And then if it was true or false. So let's run through our example and let's hit do something. And we'll notice we have an X and Y of zero. Well, why is that? Well, look, we have false. The item is not on our screen or relative to us, so we can't actually get a result. Now, if I move my mouse over a little bit and hit do something, now we'll get a true and we'll get a value. This is my point that I'm testing against right there. So if I move my screen as close as possible to that point where it's barely on the screen, something like that, and hit do something, we're going to get as close to zero, zero as I can. Remember in the viewport, zero, zero is the top left, and the bottom right will be your viewport size. So if I basically pull this in as close as I can, we might get zero, zero, or we might get something else, like a negative number. We can get negative numbers if it's still technically within the frustrum, but it's outside of our screen size. So you need to keep that in mind. If you'll notice, if I get this thing big enough, far enough away, we can get giant numbers as it gets way too large. So you're going to want to make sure when you're checking, it's within your viewport range. Now, what might we want to use this for? Well, it's useful for projecting, obviously, the world to the screen. So a heads-up display would be useful. You could have something on your HUD that indicates where your enemy is and you just have it relative. So for example, our enemy is in this direction. We can know it's going to be here based on maybe our center point and we can have an arrow pointing to it. Or we could even have just a text element that says enemy, for example, a name on our HUD. And as we move around, it's going to be on our screen. And of course, when it goes off, we could just simply say enemy and point in that direction. And when it comes back on, boom, it snaps to the enemy. So it's useful if you want to put something on your screen, but you need to know where in the world that is, a location, a distance, or something like that. Like I mentioned, these two nodes are identical. They will give you the same results. And that's it. That is our project world to screen or convert world location to screen location nodes.